Hi, I'm Nikki from Winery.ph. Hi, I'm Roxanne, and I'm a sommelier in training from Winery.ph. Today, we have a featured collection no? live on our website featuring the Banffy Estate. So we're going to be tasting a bunch of their wines. I've heard about Banffy, but can you tell me more about it? Banffy, it's an estate no, from Tuscany. Uh, they started in the 1970s. So pretty young with all of these old world producers. They can be a little traditionalist. Yeah. These guys, what sets them apart is how much they kind of push the envelope when it comes to making wine. So if you remember their marketing slogan, For a better wine world. Tremendous amounts of research to make sure that they have sustainability practices and also that they find better ways of making wine for us. For example, they actually fund cloning research center over in Tuscany where they study the various things they can do with the Sangiovese grape. So really, really interesting, but let's check how the wines actually taste. Okay, for the first one, Let's go to the entry level, which is Lerime Toscana. This is a Pinot Grigio, and it retails for 925 on our website. So this one, it contains 12.5 ABV. So let's try it. Oh, thank you. Ah, that's really nice. Right, so color is pale as you would expect from a Pinot Grigio. On the nose, no? Green apples and uh, pears. Peach. Yeah, I peach. Can peach. White flowers also. Floral note. Often, Pinot Grigio from Italy, I find to be a little smoky at times. This one? Do you not think? much. Yeah, not I don't so think so. Yeah. It, it's not smoky at all even. For 925 pesos, I think that's a really, really good wine, no? So much fruit character. And it's a bit tangy. Yeah, yeah it's nice palette. acid. It's crisp. It's really fruity, light and approachable. So I'm thinking Sunday brunch, no? Yeah, uh, maybe oil-based pasta, like alio olio. Definitely a little shrimp on top. Maybe if you're also doing something like a fish, fish roasted fish. in parchment paper, the, the way the Italians mm -hmm. do it, no? Perfect, perfect Sunday lunch. The whites out of the way, we're going to move on to the reds. First off, we have this Toscana Rosso from their Col di Sasso estate. Assemblage, if I remember, Cabernet Sauvignon Sangiovese. I'm thinking this is made along the style of easy to drink, approachable, it's fruitier. Probably not much oak, so it's going to just be all of that fruit. Pour you some. Thank you. I can smell um, red fruits. Yeah, definitely okay. like cranberry juice, yeah. no? So it's like cranberry juice. juice. Um, Cherries. I agree, like the red Max's candy. Mm -hmm. It's very yeah. candy like. So it, it smells ripe on the nose. So I'm imagining this good. comes from. Maybe because it's uh, just a 2021 vintage. So maybe very that's young. why it's very young wine. Yep. Structure is nice. There's tannin, mm -hmm. but it's not obtrusive. Acid is nice, no, because you feel that. Oh, I'm salivating so much. <laughs> so I think actually how acidic this is, I think it could stand really, really well with food. But not structured enough that I would pair this with meat. Maybe oh. a nice mm. pizza. Pizza, pizza margarita probably. But Definitely. would you would you drink this one its own or maybe it's better with food? I think it might be better with better food. With food. Huh? Yeah. Um, yeah. Always because I think wine is such an experience that improves everything around you. So a movie, yeah. a pizza. Definitely. Yeah. So really, really good deal, huh? Because this is also like the Lirime, 925 pesos. For the price, you don't get too many Italian yeah. reds at this price point with this performance. Next up, actually, we have a Chianti. Much has been said about Chianti. I imagine it's so much more structured than the first one. Typically, when I smell a Chianti, I pick up like notes of dried herbs, oregano, tomato leaf, which I find it goes really, really well with something like a spaghetti bolognese. So let's mm. see if that's meat. the case for you. Yeah, yeah, meat, definitely. I'm expecting this. It's going to be more complex than the first. Really. Definitely. Yeah. There we go. 90% Sangiovese on this. But I couldn't seem to find a text sheet if there's anything else in the blend. But definitely so much Sangiovese character. Mm -hmm. You smell that McCormick dry McCormick. Italian yeah, yeah, yeah. seasoning. Italian seasoning. I'm also getting some black fruits here. And this one's I'm getting uh, red fruits, but this one I'm getting black ones. I agree. So it's a sign of maybe, you know, the, the grapes were riper. So much more structure. No? How much more tannin, tannin there is compared to the first Toscana Rosso. I could pair this with, with meat, meats. so... Papardelli ragu. Ragu. So up next, we'll be trying the Cintine um, Toscana. So the assemblage for this wine is Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Sangiovese. So this one has 13.5 AE. While Miggy's opening it, um, the SRP for this wine is uh, actually 1,285 on our website. So you can just check it out. 
the first two reds this i think really still delivers so much power because it announces itself really really well a little bit of oak, oak. Yes. you smell that character of almost of baking oak. spice mm -hmm. cinnamon nutmeg black fruits tannin is there the spice is there definitely mm -hmm. and the tannin no mm -hmm. it's so much more finer so there's a higher quality of mm -hmm. tannin it's silkier really really nice but all of that tannin what would you pair this with Rox? um i think um still with meats but on the heavier side it's like a steak yes. Bistec a la Bistec. Yeah. so definitely a steak if you're going out dinner with your parents no if you're meeting your partner's parents mm -hmm. and you're impressing them with a steak Trying dinner to impress them yeah definitely bring this bring one that out one. father will probably nod their head no so those are these ones, but if you're looking for maybe Brunello, Banfi is really, really well known for their Brunello. I've had that before and it's such a good example. Check that out on our website. So these wines will be featured on our website starting June 14th and it will be uh, running until mid-July. So yeah, great wines. These, catch these on our website. I had great fun rocks and till the next year, guys. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to click subscribe and leave a comment below. And be sure to hit the notification bell so that you never miss another video. Again, this is Chi. And I'm Miggy. Till the next drink. Cheers! Cheers.